I'm Andrew. I'm Emily, and this is Petra. Petra was born about eight weeks ago. She's our third daughter, so we've had the screening test done for our other two. For me, it was just checking off another box. I didn't think too much of it. And for me, it didn't register at all. On a Thursday evening, I went to pick up the mail, saw that we had a letter from the Arizona Department of Health Services that said that uh, the newborn screening test had shown abnormal results for cystic fibrosis for Petra. It was surprising and it was scary. When we heard there was gonna be a sweat test, we had no idea what that was. If you're a parent who just received a letter like this, it's absolutely scary. You don't know what the outcome's gonna be when you do do the testing. But when Phoenix Children's Hospital reached out to schedule the test, uh, the person who called indicated that we would learn all about what it involved and also that someone would be available to answer all of our questions about cystic fibrosis. Congratulations on your new baby. As part of the Arizona Newborn Screening Program, every baby in Arizona gets screened for cystic fibrosis within 24 hours after birth. Sometimes the state lab finds abnormalities related to cystic fibrosis. This could mean that there was a gene detected or an enzyme level with a baby that was elevated. Nine out of 10 times, these are not positive cases of cystic fibrosis, but it's very important to get the follow-up testing within the first month. If your baby does have cystic fibrosis, early identification and treatment can make all the difference. If we were concerned that your baby has an urgent need, we would bring them in sooner for follow-up testing. We've already contacted your child's healthcare provider and they should be reaching out to you soon. If you've not heard from them or are concerned, please call your provider's office or call the Cystic Fibrosis Center listed on your letter. We do 80% of the sweat tests in Arizona right here at Phoenix Children's Hospital. It's a very easy test that's still the gold standard for diagnosis of cystic fibrosis. We'll make sure you have all the information you need for the testing. At a sweat test, we'll stimulate the sweat glands on the baby's arm. Most newborns don't like having their arms outstretched, but there are no needles and it doesn't really hurt. Some babies may feel a little tingly or itchy during the test. It feels like when your foot falls asleep, but it's not painful at all. Then we collect the sweat to measure the saltiness. The test takes about an hour in total, and we usually have the results the same day or the next morning. After that, the clinic or the pediatrician will reach out to you and talk about the results and if any follow-up is needed. Dana called us right around noon the day of the test to give us the results. And what she told us is that Petra is a genetic carrier of cystic fibrosis, but that she doesn't have the disease. We went from having no knowledge of cystic fibrosis to having all the information we needed. We learned that Arizona leads the country in finding and treating cystic fibrosis in infants. It's good to know that there are people like Dana and the State Lab looking out for kids. Phoenix Children's and the Arizona Newborn Screening Program have been fantastic partners on this journey. Mm -hmm.